on a losing streak. Just curious how much that has affected your approach heading into this fight on Wednesday. Um, didn't really affect my approach at all. I mean, I'm always doing the right things in the gym. Uh, I brought in a couple uh, other, um, you know, it's been crazy times. So it's been hard to get the training in, but my cousin Vince Morales has been, been training with me and he's in my corner. I also brought in uh, Jose Johnson. So I've been getting the, been getting the work in. Mentality is still strong. And, uh, you know, I've never had to come, you know, I've never had this experience where I'm coming off of two losses, but, you know, I'm coming off of two losses against a Hall of Famer and a top 10 guy in the world. So, and, and so I, I know where I know where I belong and, and uh, I'm just going to stay the course. How much do you feel you've grown? Because we're in sort of uncharted territory with a global pandemic going on as you're preparing for a fight. But how much do you feel like you've grown being able to to make these adjustments while in the midst of a of a global pandemic? Well, I, I never really got to announce it, but I was on that. I was going to be on the Portland card, so I, I was several. I was a month into training camp. I was uh, training over at um, Team Oyama in California, and so um, wor- working with him. And all, 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 all the pieces are kind of coming together. And so I feel like I've, I've grown a lot, even since my last fight. I'm feel, and, you know, even in the midst of this pandemic, I still feel like I'm, I'm the best. You're going to see the best rookie that you've ever seen. You're coming off the, the fight with Rob Font, which is a really exciting fight. You were certainly competitive and you gave Rob some problems at different points throughout that fight. What were you able to personally take away from that fight with Rob in Washington, D.C. to help you get ready for this one and, and for future fights? You know, I thought I thought I. I uh, landed the more like dangerous strikes in the fight, and uh, but I, I think I just I, he he pulled some veteran moves on me, scoring some points when he needed to score, and uh, he 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 showed that he you know he's he's been in here for a while, so I just took a little little notes like that, like sometimes you know certain positions or um, you know just score better than the others, and you never know what you're getting with the judges and everything, but um, I, I mean just, just another learning experience, and uh, you know I. You know, it's just, it's all about, for me, it's all about cage time and and this is going to be my sixth fight in the UFC. So I, I, and I feel like I'm just getting better every time I step in. And lastly, for me, some fighters you talk to thrive on pressure. Others try to block it out. And there's obviously enough pressure as it is being locked in a cage with another human being and trying to, to pick up a win. But do you feel any extra pressure heading into this fight coming off of back-to-back losses? Uh, Honestly, no, I I don't. I, I, I'm ready to go out there and perform. Uh, You know, even like I said, I was, I, I've been training. I'm supposed to be on that Portland card, and uh, you know, short notice and not for really front of a crowd. I've done it before. If you, if contender series was about three weeks notice, same thing. Not in front of a crowd, so I'm, I'm kind of comparing it to that. And you know, I, I, I don't feel the pressure. Thanks, Ricky. All the best to you. Good luck. Thank you. And next up, we have Manabu Takashima from MMA Planet. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Ricky, I think that uh, uh, your strong point is uh, pace and the endurance. Uh, uh, you told us uh, you have a confidence to sh- uh, show good performance in this show, but uh, uh, in fact, many fighters who competed in UFC 249, honestly, their performance uh not same as the usual time, but uh, how come do you confidence to show, you know, uh, good performance in hard moment. Yeah, well, I think I think it's it's been tough for everyone because you know gyms have been closed, and so uh, you know maybe guys aren't in the best shape as they normally are. But that's the one thing about me is I always stay in shape and I'm always ready to go. So uh, I'm looking at this as a as a as a time to shine. You know, there's gonna be a lot of there's a lot of eyes on on sporting events right now because there's not very many going on. So I'm I'm gonna take that opportunity. I'm gonna I'm gonna perform. All right, and um, you are the LFA champion and then joined UFC. And finally, Japanese MMA fans started watching the LFA last November in the UFC Fight Pass. So can you let us know uh, what experience in LFA gave you in your career? Uh, well, fighting for two world titles. I was preparing for two five-round fights. I, I beat an eight-time UFC veteran in Chico Camus, my first LFA outing, and I, that's when I took the belt. And then my second one is that quick knockout. So, you know, I just – the experience of going five rounds with a veteran and training for two five-round fights. So, I mean, I mean like I said, like I, I, I'm a uh, firm believer in like cage time. Like re- in wrestling, it was mat time. So I feel the more time I spend in there, the more dangerous I get. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
And up next, we'll take questions from Danny Segura from MMA Junkie. Danny, please go ahead. Hey, Ricky. This, this might be a, a weird question, but c- could you turn around for a second and let us see the back of your neck real quick? Is, is your mullet gone? Yeah, it's gone. What happened there? Was it uh, um, a victim of a quarantine cut? No, I think after two straight losses, it just kind of just fell off. So maybe, uh, maybe huh. a, a good winning streak, uh, it'll start start peaking again maybe the hair on my neck will start growing again but for now I need a little bit of a, a little bit of a change up so that's about it mm. did, did it, was there something like are you like kidding or, or is there something to it like uh like some sort of symbolism or be, behind it no, i was just tired of sleeping on the couch my wife wouldn't let me in the room with the mullet <laughs> nice so, cut it off and i'm back in the bedroom yeah <laughs> and and you mentioned uh you mentioned how you know you're on a two fight losing streak, but one is to a top ten guy, the other guy a a, a a UFC Hall of Famer. Here you're taking on someone that could very well be on a on a three fight win streak, depending on how you see uh, that one loss. Also a former title challenger. Um, what do you think about Ray Borg and, and sort of this type of matchup? Uh, I think it's an exciting matchup. I think there's some similarities in in our in our grappling styles, but I think I have a, a pretty heavy advantage on and my overall game and in the striking so I, I'm, I'm definitely excited about it uh he's a high-paced fighter i'm a high-paced fighter and i'm i'm an i'm naturally i feel like i'm i like to be exciting and so it's good <laughs> you know I, I like i said i'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity and with all the eyes on uh, uh that's gonna be on this event yeah for sure and, and lastly um how are kind of like the logistics of your training camp you kind of mentioned there how you know you were training with your cousin right um were you able to get in a normal training camp what, what, what was different this time around during the pandemic um just like you know the gyms being closed and you know, having to keep everything a secret like i'm not training you know but mm-hmm. uh you know when i was training for that portland card i came home after like everything started getting crazy and then i actually i flew out to boise and was i was i spent a little over a week with my cousin out, out there and then Came back home, started training. Jose Johnson came in to train with me, and my cousin came back in. So I got plenty of work in, and uh, I feel I feel prepared. All right, man. Well, appreciate the time. Good luck. Thank you.